Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Some of my favourite new Ryzen 2000 series motherboards so far have been MSI boards. So what happens when you get all the features from a full size fat motherboard and shrink it down into a tiny little motherboard about the size of two mobile phones sitting right next to each other? Well, what you get is a very potent mixture of price, performance and most importantly, size. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload at least four times per week, so make sure you're subscribed. In this video, we're going to unbox and take a closer look at the brand spanking new MSI B450i Gaming Plus AC Mini ITX Powerhouse. I mean motherboard. Let's check it out. This video is brought to you by Cooler Master and the Master Liquid ML360R, featuring a dual chamber design, 360mm radiator, and three addressable RGB fans. Find out more about the cooler in the link in the description. All right, let's check out this little guy. Special thanks to Optimum Tech for actually forwarding this motherboard onto us so we could check it out. All right, the first thing we're seeing is the IO shield. Yeah, pretty standard motherboard stuff right here. Now, I've removed the board, we'll get to that last and we'll see what else comes in the box. The next thing you're gonna notice are the Wi-Fi antennas because this motherboard actually has Intel integrated AC Wi-Fi. Very, very cool feature and I think it's becoming a bit of a standard thing on ITX boards. Right here are the SATA cables. It comes with two, which is also pretty standard for most motherboards. We have this little thank you for choosing this MSI product, which is, uh, yeah, it, it's a thing. <laughs> We've got this odd looking device. I'm not sure what this is. Can someone in the comments please let me know? It looks like some kind of hologram. Also this uh, true gaming little leaflet and the manual that pretty much tells you how to live your life and do everything with the motherboard. Pretty straightforward stuff. There is a spare M.2 screw for drives and this dragon sticker. This is the MSI gaming logo and the quick installation guide so you can install everything quickly. You've got two RGB headers right here for all of your lighting stuff using Mystic Light, which is MSI's lighting software control. Next thing you've got as well are four SATA connectors for your drives if that's what you want to use this board for. I'd personally use M.2 only. Uh, you've got your 24 pin power connector, which is pretty standard on every board. You've got two full size DIMM RAM slots so you can RAM your motherboard. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, you've got an eight pin CPU power connector as well so you can power the CPU. <laughs> you've got this little diagnostic LED cluster which will basically tell you if there's anything wrong with your board just by looking at it as well as two fan headers for AIOs and air coolers. We have a standard USB 2.0 header so you can plug in things like your AIO and a USB 3.0 header for more complex things for your front panel. Radio, moving along. All right, these are the two front panel connectors. One is for front panel audio and the other is for all your lights and switches and all of the things that live on the front of your case. Because this is an AM4 board, clearly it's got an AM4 socket which is compatible with first gen and second gen Ryzen CPUs as well as the Ryzen APUs and Athlon APUs as well and the standard cooler retention system which can, you can leave on or you can remove depending on your cooler. Let's take a look at your rear panel connectivity. So you've got USB 2.0 and PS2 for legacy mice and keyboards. You've got DisplayPort and HDMI just in case you're using a Ryzen APU. You've got USB 3.1. Yeah, that's pretty standard. <laughs> You've also got Realtek Gigabit Ethernet, not Intel Ethernet on this board, unfortunately, but the Realtek stuff's still pretty good. You've also got your Intel Wireless AC adapter. Well, that's where you plug the antennas in anyway, and standard audio. Now, one thing that I didn't actually mention was the M.2 slot, which lives on the back side of the motherboard. That's actually pretty standard for mm -hmm. ITX boards.
What do you reckon? Pretty cool, right? Ooh, we don't get that much mini ITX hardware, so it's super refreshing to get our hands on some mini ITX hardware for a change. If you're interested in grabbing one of these boards, there is a link in the description. Yeah, that's where the links usually are. <laughs> They're going for around about 115 US dollars right now on Amazon. You'll be seeing this motherboard in a very, very special build that we've got going on later on in the week. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and all of that other jazz. Special thanks to MSI Australia for hooking us up with this little beast. I'm super, super keen to show you guys what we've got planned, but yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And it's time to build a tiny little powerful computer. How exciting.